Hello beautifuls, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of America's Most Smartest Model. I don't have an intro for that. <laughs> da, 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 da. It's not top model. My goodness me, what a reception the first episode of this season got, my lovelies. In fact, this is the only season to ever exist of America's Most Smartest Model. Oh my god, that is so sad. Now, in the comments of the last episode of this, my lovelies, I kind of made a comment in the video, something about, like, I don't get why it's, like, a... Uh, why it's, why, but like, why is the title funny? Why is the title stupid? Like, why? It turns out that, obviously, Most Smartest is not correct grammar, but, like... Was that joke meant to be funny? <laughs> because I just didn't get it. I just didn't get it. I was like, sure, most smartest model. Bimbo! To me, it just was not as funny as the hosts of this show were making it out to be. So, you know, there we go. Also, on another note, the man who is judging in this show, what's his name? Back rolls. Ben Stein. That was his name, Ben Stein. Apparently now just spends his time spreading like far right propaganda online. So like... We don't want that, do we? No, thank you, sir. Also incredibly judgmental to the models in the last episode and also had to be schooled on what a certain type of tree is. Anyway, my lovelies, the top comment on the last episode of America's Most Martyrs Model is by Solitary Blue Shell. And they say, there was a writer's strike in 2007. There were no TV shows, just these reality style shows that were pure chaos. And I think actually that makes quite a lot of sense. That probably makes quite a lot of sense as to why Janice Dickinson's modeling agency was also so deeply unhinged because at the time all of the decent writers were fighting for their right to be able to feed themselves from the work that they produce and I completely agree my loves always pay your artists with that being said my lovelies today I am on the soirier joirier oubliarlier's max and what you, what you're gonna do, my love, is you're gonna get your oh hanger and pop it into your little smart hole. That's what you're gonna do. Oh, beat! The energy in the studio today, my lovelies, is completely deranged in the best possible way. Because it's already getting late in the day and I need to go to the supermarket, so that's gonna be fun, isn't it? Most America's smart most now. smartest media! Where's the intro? Is there no intro song? Do your own thing. Oh, here it is. Okay, right. Oh, yes. What equals MC squared? Girls, I've got to go. Clever with a K. Very Chloe Kardashian clever. Lipstick in my Valentino white stiletto heel. Science. A hairdryer. What is that? What, what is this? What is this? Sure, you know. Oh, is it all your fault, Mark? And Chris. Mark and Chris at it again. There you go. Right. Oh, in bed. Good morning. Totally it's time to get up here. to me bullied. Online. This is a competition. There's $100,000 oh, yes. on the line. I want a title. I want a title. I want to be America's most smartest model. Oh, yes. They really bullied Mandy Lynn, didn't she? I mean, obviously, she has more of like a Playboy style commercial, like lingerie look, but they're just keeping her around just so they can take the piss out of her, aren't they? Oh, awful. Awful. What did you just say? Right. We wake up and we got these codes again on these locks, M on the bathrooms and on the fridge, I. come on. That's Roman numerals, isn't it? 1,000, 100, no, 1,600, really DC. Oh, come on. And seven. Locks on the fridge and the bathrooms. Dude, didn't I just leave Russia? Ooh. Not sure about that, sir. But someone commented in the comments on the last video that like locking away a bathroom actually like breaks the Geneva War Convention. So that's fun. Maybe it's just for show, but if they did do that, they've got some splaining to do. Oh, 1666, what happened in 1666? So Mary, I was and Ben both sat a little heavy in the middle section. I say, okay, no problem, it's a competition. $10,000, oh. I can do that. Get your ass so it's like on the edge though. You can do it, put your ass into it. I want this so bad, I can taste it. I'm gonna work out, I'm gonna stop eating so much, I'm gonna, you know, do what they say to win the money. I'm up at nine in the morning, but, no. doing Push ups and She'll be proud of you, man. Yeah. We're Something about pussy there. Pussy. <laughs> pussy. <laughs> There's something about pussy. I don't know if you could ever possibly drop enough weight or enough or tone up your body enough in such a short amount of time to be able to win this competition because they kind of frame it as if like, oh, you just go to the gym and it's done, girls. Happened the same thing on Janice Dickinson's modeling agency where she told Niabelle to drop like 11 pounds or something in two weeks, which is physically 
or should be physically impossible if you're already very, very small, is unhinged behaviour. If this show goes on for a month, there is no way that you're going to be able to come out the other end at your goal weight. If your goal weight is any more than losing like six pounds at most. Oh, priority, honey. Oh, pixelation. Ooh. So every day I send the models a note du jour, which explains what they're upcoming. A du jour? She's a French woman. Scout du jour. Noted philosopher Francis Bacon once said, for knowledge itself. Francis Bacon. Self is power. In today's edge challenge, what you know will bring you great rewards. She's going edging. I've divided you up into co-ed teams. Yeah. Pickle and Rachel. Oh, the Aussie. Who did I get? The Aussie. Pickles. And am I loving it? Yes. Andre and Lisa. Who's Lisa? My partner's Andre. Oh. This sucks. He's crazy. He's crazy. Brett and likely. Angela. Jesse and Erica. She's got a boob that and girl. Rachel. My partner is VJ. Blonde Rachel. Oh my god, I am so excited. He has a nice body and he's sexy. And Daniel oh! and Mandy Lynn. That's not really the point of this challenge though, is it? Blonde Rachel. Uh -huh. Hey, your partner's oh, topless, how do you feel? Out. She's gonna distract Does she actually have her boobs out, or are they just making it look like she does? Hey, your partner's no, topless, how do you feel? She's gonna distract all of you! Mary Alice, could you repeat the question? Mandy Lynn's boobs were staring at me. I feel like I totally scored having being paired up with Daniel because he's one of the most smartest people in the house. Please join Ben and me in the living room in an hour for a meeting of the minds, Mary Alice. Oh! No du jour says knowledge is power, and the we just started jour. a little impromptu study session. Did we have a no du jour last week? Would you guys like, be to let me look at the states for like 10, 15 minutes, and then you what can you have the book back? A du jour. I just want to look. I just want to look at the capitals of the states real quick, just to refresh my memory. Oh, yeah, you guys okay. have had that book for like an hour. I know, I know we're, we're not allowed to. Do to. Yeah. BJ and Rachel don't think that they could win this in a fair fight. They're very sneaky, very underhanded. Where's that Ooh, book that you guys have? Being hidden. It's being hidden. You guys aren't even using it. I am right now. Dude, you hate the encyclopedia. That's ridiculous. Who made up the rules, first of all? You guys, if we're all competition, why don't when we're sleeping just kill us all? There's one encyclopedia that has everything in it and he hides it. Ridiculous. That, yeah, that should so be against the rules. I'm sorry, but this can't be a fair competition if one of your competitors is just like, this is mine and it's all for me. I'm like, like instant ban. I've never heard so much pettiness over something that shouldn't it's be not petty. Being petty crazy, is bitching about us getting the book first no. and using it for all the time we have. Pistol number one, mate, Rachel Myers, Jesus. just explodes. And that's where I was like, I like this girl. I mean, it was awesome. It's the principle. Really, nobody wants the book. It's just the principle. No, I, I want This guy, VJ, he's a sneaky bastard. It's called okay? fair play. Thought it was foreplay, but whatever. <laughs> Remember, this is America's most smartest models, models. I hit it. Big deal. That's pretty smart move by Logan. You, no. Punks. You should be, no, banned, banned, banned. Right, okay. Hey, everybody. As I'm taking my spot for the Edge Challenge, I see Hello, this Erica. board with a bunch of subjects, and Ooh. I'm just wondering what's going on. Oh, quiz them on their knowledge. Good afternoon, models. Oh. We are going to play Puzzle Me Pretty. Right. This is a game show about- That's very bridal plasty, isn't it? Do you remember when they had to put the puzzle together to get an invitation to the Botox and injectables party? Time for a brow lift. Oh. <laughs> Winning things, clothes, she even looks a bit makeup, like shine about fashion her. accessories that you'll be able to take to use during tomorrow's callback challenge, right. which is a photo shoot. So the game is you have to answer questions with categories and okay. win things for your photo shoot. Okay, now the items on the bottom of the board are better than the ones on the top. But the questions are going to be harder. A makeup right. artist, her name is Samelia. Samelia has done shoots for British Vogue and Glamour, twice as many shots. That's a big one. And you'll be playing for a VO5 hairstylist who will put the life into your style at tomorrow's photo shoot. I'm so this whole competition, they win like a VO5 contract. So I do kind of love the fact that they have to put a little advert in there to be like, bring the life to your style with VO5. I'm so happy. I want to be clear about something. Right. The items you win here today are the only thing you're allowed to take with you for the photo shoot. So the only if we thing. don't win anything in this challenge, we're going to go into this competition butt ass <laughs> naked. What? I have a oh. big ass stomach, and I know that's going to be an issue. That ain't fair. What the? Is it like 
I don't understand. I guess we'll find out now, girls. I'm very excited about that. We are going to play Puzzle Me Pretty. Oh my God, ben we looking, are going. Ben's fully looking at the camera there. They couldn't afford to like reshoot this area. Why is she also leaning over? She's very Trini. This is Trini and Susanna does modeling. Play Puzzle Me Pretty. Right. In this challenge, the models have to use their brains to win things they need for. Since knowing what he's like been posting about and arguing about with people online and like, the kind of ideology he follows, I've my idea of him is just really, I'm like, no. Nope. Their challenge tomorrow, which is a photo shoot. Right, I hope they're smart because if outfit. they don't win anything here today, they're going to their photo shoot with no clothes, no the props, music. no dignity, nothing. We're going to start right, with you, well, Pickle. Great what uh, show, category and question would you like? Um, I'd like to go for My Chemical Romance for the doctors and nurses outfit. Okay, very good. Most engagement rings are either made from the element PT or the element AU. What is the element AU? Gold. for gold, Ben. Yes, very gold. good. Gold. AU. Why is it called AU again? There's a reason why it's called AU. And I think it's something to do with like, when it was discovered, it was called Aurum. The Latin word Aurum meaning gold. Yes, it's been around for a long time. See the Latin word Aurum, AU, gold. Lynn, what would you like to choose? Oh God, they're ridiculing her. America's the... most smartest has to be decisive. Okay, I'm gonna go with- Listen to the music. What does it stand for? Okay. For chair and table? Referring to Republicans, what does GOP stand for? Grand old party. Oh, God. Um. Oh, dear. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Answer already. GOP. Governor of Presidents? No, 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 I'm sorry. Is that it? <laughs> okay, that's all right. I'm still smart. <laughs> Brett, what does GOP stand for? Grand old party. She's still really sweet. I know she's like a bit of a sandwich short of a handbag, but she ah, uh, but she is very, very sweet. And I re I have great fun with Mandy Lynn. Excellently done. Very yeah. good. Right, okay, Andre, it's up to you, my friend. Before I was born for lingerie. Ooh, Who invented lingerie. the light bulb? Thomas Edison. Very good, very da good. Ah, ah, Did Thomas Edison actually invent the light bulb or did he steal the idea? Is that tea? Yes, somebody else did in fact invent the light bulb. Who was it? Is it Sir Humphrey Davy? Was it Mr. Davy? Is that what it was? Davy, I remember Davy. So yes, unfortunately, Thomas Edison stole his design and patented it and then claimed it was his. Isn't that naughty? I got naughty! Thomas Edison did that with a lot of things though, didn't he? The same with DC current against Nikola Tesla, who had AC current. And Thomas Edison would steal animals and electrocute them and be like, Look at the danger of electricity, girls! This is what Nikola Tesla wants in your house! Awful. Important that I have- Science is filled with scandal. Because it's a team effort. My friend Brett. Uh, I'd like to go with before I was born, uh, hair products, please this game, but like, who's voting for hair products? Like, Please. oh, I'm just gonna have my What's winky out, sad? girls. Get your dick out, girls! Very inclusive. Roughly coincided with the Wall Street crash of 1929. Oh, the Great Depression. 1929 stock market crash? I already said that. Lisa. World War II. No, sis. Lisa is an idiot. She doesn't know anything. Oh, well. She doesn't know anything. Uh, ben, by sad, do you mean the Depression? That's what we mean, very good. Sorry you couldn't get that, guys. I don't know. Hello? People, where have you been? It's not even that hard, my god. I mean, lovely, trying. lovely, blonde, thin Rachel. Presidential fashion? Yes. Twice as many shots? Which famous fashion designer was the official couturier to First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy? Oh, no idea. Was it Oscar De La Rente? No. Uh, no I'm gonna idea. take a guess and say Versace. No. Jesse, you are up, my friend. We'll take where in the world for makeup Ooh, artists. No again. answer. What North Korean dictator rocks platform shoes and oversized sunglasses? General Wu? No, I'm sorry. Mandy Lim. So Yun Kim? No. Uh, I think it goes by the name of Kim Jong il Very good. Woo! Oh dear. <laughs> Rock. Why do they, North Korean dictator rocks as if like, oh my God, fashion icon. This show has some very interesting turn of phrases, doesn't it? Congratulations. Okay, These two point. words sound Weeks. the same. One lost to the tortoise and the other grows on your head. What are they? 
Hair and hair. Very nice, very nice, very hair. nice. A wig. Pickle and Rachel are just blowing out the doors of this barn. Pickle is doing a good job. Blowing out the doors of this barn. Let's not talk about British backdoor she -mails. Oh my Michelle. Doors of this barn. Pickle is doing a good job. And I know that I'm gonna have to step it Pickled up. Pickled egg. DJ, your chance. You better, you better start cracking my Where in the world? DJ. For Weston Ware, Ben. Many people have a strong desire to get their hands on this Japanese currency. Name it. Yen. Very good, you got it. Ready to go, DJ. What kind of a question was that? Many people have a desire to get a hold of this Japanese currency. That could have just been, what's the currency of Japan? Yen. Many people have a desire. Oh, very odd. It's very Mystic Meg. <laughs> Dream make a planet Neptune and Venus. I've soiled my tunic. Very good, you got it. Way to go, VJ. Well yes. This is very the price. Can't wait to see you in this Western wear. VJ did well. The sneakiness paid off. Good job, VJ. What Wheel does it stand for? For VO5 hairstylist. Right, okay. What does scuba stand for? Self-contained oh. underwater breathing apparatus. Yes, bitch. A carrot. Couldn't be easier. Iron? Iron it is, very good. Flower. Titanic? Yes, the Titanic, Here very go. good. The answer is silicon. Very good, no, very good, Italian. very good. I'm gonna say New Zealand. Very good. So you now have a full-size bed and some body paint, and this is gonna be an interesting uh, photo exquisite. shoot. We're still <laughs> naked, oh and I'm God. pissed Body paint We're and a full-size bed. We're up to you now, bed. Rachel. Would you say what it is? Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, before I was born, for a ladder. The last name of the well-dressed petite French emperor Napoleon is not dynamite. What is it? Bonaparte. Bonaparte. That. He also wasn't that short. That was Pierre. Nice. <laughs> How about no? Pierre? No, but that was close. Good. Good one. Yes. Nice try, Rachel Myers. Back in line, please. Mandy Lynn. Bonaparte. Very nice. Oh, very yes, nice. I'm very, very glad. Oh, look, everyone's very fully gagged. Good. Very good. Very good. You, gagged. Mandy Lynn, now have a ladder and a hairstylist and a full rack of his and her clothing. Daniel won the VO5 hairstylist. That I'm excited about. OK. What was the, what was the like, was that a play on saying a full rack? And that's why the music was like, eh, be, 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 de, ba, ba, do, be, de, ba. Was that what that was about? Listen. A hairstylist and a full rack of his and her clothing. Daniel won the VO5 hairstylist the that I'm excited for? about. Odd. OK, go for it, Erica. Right, let's go. We're going to give the presidential fashion another show. Which famous fashion designer was the official couturier to First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy? No idea. I'm going to go with, uh, it was the 60s, wasn't it? Ferragamo. The correct answer is legendary designer Ola Cassini. And, oh, no you know, idea. If you're in the fashion industry, you should probably know that. I mean, I ask a question. Why did you choose that one if you didn't know the answer? Erica, why are you answering the same questions? Go for something easy. Trade. At this point in the game, we're Trade. still naked. I love the fact I that he has his back on. Lisa, what would you Bye. like? Ben, we will take what does it stand for for lipstick. lipstick. What does the tax agency IRS stand for? Inland Internal Revenue, Revenue Service. Service. Very good. You got it. So you get lipstick. Very okay, good. Right, it well, is kind nice. of interesting, is it not, that you already had a cosmetics kit and you got lipstick too. Thank you, and I'm naked. Just in case the cosmetic. But what's no. he gonna wear? I can. He can wear lipstick. He can get over himself Lisa. and wear some lipstick. Out of all the things she picked, she ends up picking her lipstick. And yeah, pose behind the lipstick, but the lipstick really close to the camera. Cow. Okay, we've come oh! to the. What a selfish cow. Okay, we've come to the end of our game. Pickle you could have picked anything, five sir. Items. You've got a lot of stuff. I'm loving it. We kicked ass. We're the only people with hair and makeup. Good luck. I was gonna say, you're not the only people with hair and makeup. You, the other people have a cosmetics kit. I was gonna say, for Andre bitching about lipstick, they could have placed a lipstick really close to the camera and then put him behind it and then like bokeh effect defocused the lipstick and had him in focus, but all of his parts would be covered. That could be like quite a bijou lipstick advert, couldn't it? Oh, I don't know. I'm not a creative director, you see. Not yet.
Oh, write that down, write that down. There's no one here. Biscuit, write that down. VJ and Rachel, fishnet sides and western are an interesting combination right. for Speaking certain of kinds western of movies. Okay, Jesse okay. and Erica, body paint and a full size bed. This promises to be very interesting. We're gonna have to get married. Very... So that, that was pretty nerve wracking. American Horror Story. Jesse Hotel. has been criticized about his belly, so I was hoping it wouldn't be a problem in the photo shoot. Belly. Remember, belly. you'll have to get up bright and early for tomorrow's photo. Shoot. You have to get I up really early to pull one over the old And what you won to do the best you can. Okay. See you tomorrow morning. Goodbye. Good morning. I mean, good night. Everybody leave. Yeah. Like that? I don't know. I mean, as long as we're both showing. The night before the photo shoot, me and BJ an were basically the only couple practicing. Look at me. And, and you want, you know, we know that we want it. Rachel's a fox, and there was an attraction. I could, I, I think we both felt that. Bring your leg over, you know? We were practicing a lot, so we definitely were using our, our, our smarts. Am I to wrap this up? Yes. <laughs> yes. What, what? <laughs> we're gonna work together. What was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? It says, so this couple's photo shoot apparently is gonna be like a, an OnlyFans exclusive brings a whole new meaning to body paint in the bed. I put a whole bag of jelly beans up my ass. Soviet right. and America is gonna work together. Me and Andre thought it would be a good oh. idea to go outside and kind of talk about the photo shoot and what we were gonna Why do. I just wanna warm up for some cold shoot and what we were gonna do. I just wanna warm up for some cold. You guys are you are so weak. It bothers me. Is it always a competition? Yes, it is always a competition. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Well, in America? Uh-huh. It's equal. okay. Equal. I know. That's why you guys are so freaking boring. Having a chemistry on camera is what has to read. And I will not have that with you unless you break your barrier with me for this photo shoot tomorrow. What is your problem? No, It bothers Andre, you that I'm better or that I'm this or I'm that, that I'm different? You're not better than anybody here, you're Andre. Out of your mind. If you think I'm equal with any of you, you are out of your mind. I do think oh, you're better I, than me. Just ugly person. This person has to be planted by production because I cannot believe. Like, I've met some men in my time. I've met some men that I've gone after meeting them. If I met this man, I think I'd need to be in the ICU for a little while because I'd just be like, I'm so unwell from coming into contact with someone who just thinks and speaks like this. Just so toxic. So toxic, girls. Might as well swallow mercury. I hear that's how she died. Yeah. And I think I'm better than many other people here. Well, that's gonna fine, prove, but you don't have to be a dick about it. Together. You can be as Delulu as you want, but you still need the Salulu. This with you. Okay, and there fine. you go. Now the truth is out. Fine. Do it by yourself. I'll you do won't it by have myself. a partner. And you know what? You know what? Don't you should... qualify us fine, both. It's fine. teamwork. I don't <laughs> you. I got all the stuff for you, and you got what? More lipstick? You ass. Go back over there with those ass. They want to fit in. No, because they know how to be a team, Andre. You don't. The team of what? Losers? He had pushed every button on me. Goodness me! I love the World of Warcraft, like, character creation music in the background as well, being like, Da, 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 da! F*** you! F*** you, you f***ing bitch in your stupid f***ing socks! F I'm never shopping in BHS again! What was that about? Chaos! The chaos drama in this show, my lovelies, my goodness! and I'm not gonna stand for it. Andre, No, you should have to. No, absolutely no one in their right mind should ever be able to speak to someone like that, especially on TV, especially in a produced environment, especially with like security and other people nearby. This man should be removed for that. Imagine if he just said any of this on like another reality TV show, like Big Brother or something to someone. Ended, career over. What's wrong with you? Nothing, I'm Russian. You guys are a bunch of Americans that are gonna lose. That's the end of the story. So why are you here Have a go fish. Go fish. Right. Silver bell. Oh, Shayna Merkley. Good morning, bottoms. I thought she was going to say good morning, bottoms. I was going to be like, oh, how do you know? It's the pheromones. They can sniff them out. Good morning, bottoms. 
Models aren't supposed to sleep in. Come on, who's under here? I'm sorry, 5.37 a.m. is not oh, sleeping in. Oh, it's Pickle. I'm dreaming away, and Mary Ellis wakes us up. She's hustling us, poking us. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get up, right, oh, outside. it's time to out work. Backyard, meet me outside. No more primping, meet girls. Mary meet Alice just comes in out of nowhere and tells everybody just to meet outside and not to do anything with themselves. Get up as you are. Hola. Hola. This is going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. Me and Andre had that blowout last night. Blowout. So going into this challenge, Special I don't know what to expect. I'm a little nervous. I'm scared. I'm not surprised. I'm Hello, amazed. models. How are you doing? Erica. Where are those patent leather pumps that I wanted you to have on 24-7? I need you to give me attitude, so keep those on, OK? Mary Alice mentioned that she wanted me to practice my walk, but I didn't know it was supposed to be in heels constantly. OK, but she also said, like, just come as you are. Don't bother getting dressed. Why is there also, people's clothes have changed. All the men, well, not all the men, but the men with, like, athlete bodies are just, like, completely naked at all times. Of course they are. But I didn't know it was supposed to be in heels constantly. Okay, guys, so, so today rude. is your big photo sh Is she the same height as Mandy Lynn? Okay. She's basically the same height as Mandy Lynn, and Mandy Lynn has shoes on, yet they weren't like, Mandy Lynn, put on your libertons instantly or face the wrath of Andre. Hey guys, so today is your big photo shoot. Right. Any primping this morning? Oh, dressed like a bit haunted Victorian child. I need you to go to the shoot with what God gave you, mm. oh natural. Mm. So that means I'm gonna need pussy you to out, jump Pussy out, pussy out, pussy out. Just yeah. as you are. Oh are you right serious now. right now? I wasn't even done brushing my teeth for <laughs> sake. On the count of three. One, two, three! <laughs> Sorry, have I overspoke and missed something? Because why are they jumping in? So that means I'm gonna need you to jump in the pool. Just <laughs> yeah. as you are. Are you serious I don't right understand. Now? Oh, so that means, naturally, you need to jump into the pool. I'm so confused. Okay, hey, everybody, grab a towel. Get yourself a robe. So it seems like you're all standing before me in nothing but your birthday suits, is that correct? Yes. yes. So this is how I want you to arrive on this photo shoot. You're not allowed to bring anything with you, and I will see you later on the set. I don't understand. What was the point of jumping in the pool? So they were all, like, wet and hateful. What do we have? Oh, who's hey, that? everybody. Welcome to your next callback challenge. This is a bit unfair because boys with shaved heads are going to look exactly the same when they go into a pool as when they come out. But like girls with like a natural wave are going to have to like restyle that and let it set before they look in somewhat presentable to the model world. So it's a bit unfair. I don't like that. No. It's a photo shoot. Why didn't she jump and in as well? And we've flown in legendary photographer Robert Erdman. Er Hello Erdman. World-renowned photographer. In the past doing what? two months alone, Robert has shot Gwen Stefani, wow. Jessica Alba, oh, wow. Christina Aguilera. Robert's done German Vogue, French Vogue, Australian Vogue, iconic Sports Illustrated covers with Heidi Klum. Vichmay. So he's amazing. Okay. Working with Robert Urban is extremely exciting because he's extremely expensive, extremely hard to book, and he's an awesome photographer. Behind you us by the mirrors to say are the things that you want. You use what okay. makes the best right. picture. And Robert and I are going to be judging that picture. You're going to have half an hour with Robert, including the amount of time it takes to pick your photo. 30 minutes of oh, photo time is not long at that, all. No. So I was actually shaking at this point. Yes, The team that has the best long. picture will win the automatic callback to the next episode. Okay, Pickle and Rachel, right. you guys are up first. You have one hour before we see you on set. Right. OK, so we got the hair, the makeup artist. Confidence is high. I like those on you. In the lingerie, I get to wear underwear. I don't have to be naked. I think just, no, we don't need all this. But that should have been ladies on They should have put it in look at our props. Bra. We won in the Puzzle Me Pretty. So we started talking, and we just readjusted our strategy so that we could rock the photo shoot. Maybe I'm holding, like, one rose in my hand. That could work. One thing is, I know I need, I need to have my stomach, because my, mid, my midsection is going to be heavy. A lot of the poses, he would get behind me, and he would just keep mentioning, I have to hide my stomach. And I'm thinking, oh my god, get it together. Like, please don't screw this up. Please don't screw this up. We'll use it. We'll, we'll like grab this? it. Um, 
I feel like to be a smart model, you need to work for the companies who hire you. That's that's more valuable than say, you know, oh, I know the capital of whatever state, you know. I agree. So that's actually. why I thought this competition was good for me. I'm like, I'm a smart model. We spend the hour getting our hair done by our VO5 hairstylist that we won. <laughs> And I love it. It's so my style. So I'm pretty confident that we're set and we're gonna do this. We're gonna do a good job. I do really, there's something about like piano stripe highlights that really do something to me. I would never have them, but I love looking at them because it's so nostalgic. Like they were everywhere in the 2000s. They're so Y2K, it's like unreal. Y2K style to the max girls. Piano stripe highlights and a big curly bouffant with extensions that don't quite match. Oh, it was a simpler time. <laughs> And then it will be right here we go. Pose. They're making a child. Yeah. Behind me in that pose, close to his lips. It was very romantic, and I just wanted to go in for it. Maybe slip him the tongue. Dear. Right? Yep. Or maybe like here. Is he listening to your woo? I think Rachel and VJ's tension definitely uh, grew. VJ. I think the whole house Imagine. knew that there was some kind of connection going on there. <laughs> Three days. Hey, how long have you guys been dating for now? 36 hours? Right. Look at them. They're just... You want to do a beauty oh, show? Awkward. No, awkward. Think, <laughs> this is necessary on right. me. Don't Most photo shoots I do take hours, if not days, to perfect. In this photo shoot, these models have 30 minutes. This is going to be fun. Yeah, it's like sabotage on purpose. A breast. Probably. Okay. Participate. If you think about both of you, you might go somewhere. You have 10 minutes. Robert was pushing my buttons, and I harnessed the criticism and worked with it. You know, I, it came across in, in the picture. You have a minute. Gosh, she sounded a bit vicious then, didn't he? This photographer, he was like, if you work together, you might see something worthwhile. Yeah, think about that. that. Not for me, girls. Quickly, which one is it? Pick one of those. Just point to the one on the screen you like. That's the one. That's the one. Yeah. That's yeah. One. It's the only one where you actually helped him out because you're greedy. You were just take hogging. I know. Yeah. I do you do that in life always? <laughs> the chemistry was good. Imagine! Imagine! Ah, oh, if you spoke to me like that, there wouldn't be a continent on earth that wouldn't see your wig snatched. That is the real thing, snatched. Awful, imagine, imagine speaking to someone like that. The level of language I'm seeing in this show, I know it's not in any way, shape or form directed at me or anyone in particular, well, actually that was directed at someone in particular. The language I'm hearing is really like setting off my fight or flight motion. I'm just like, ugh, uh, this was on TV and you guys wanted me to watch this? Uh, but it is quite tea though, isn't it? I mean, in terms of a reality TV show and the level of production involved, it is particularly unhinged. And I guess that's what we're here for. Unhinged reality TV shows from the mid 2000s, my loves. Definitely my forte. When did this become my life? Good. The look was good. When the I saw that shot, was I was like, that's the one, done. All right, what tea what, what from both of they advertising though? There you go. In the edge challenge, I got the fishnet stockings, the BJ got the Western wear, and we're set. Nice. Look at her again. Kiss her. Go to kiss her. Yeah, you have 10 minutes. Give me as much of your bodies. Don't stop. There you go. Come and look at these. Come on. But what is this for? Next. Why is this so that romantic? That nice. Go slow down, Mom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take that one. Take that one. Yeah. That's to me. You like Three, this better? I'm good with either two, or. Two. Either or. I don't know. One. Choose that one. Yes. Because that's what he said. That one. Take that it. one. One thing that VJ and I have going for us in this photo is our chemistry. It was yeah, beautiful. Yeah, but why? This is What's the photo for? Well, that's the one where he says, I'm going to do. I do you know. like that? I, I know. know. No, I said we. No, you said I. You I said did, I. did say I you did. did say right, I. This, we have a lot of props. Yeah. We're not going to use any of them. We're going to use... Some of them we are using. Some. He's the spokesperson. He's just like... We're going to use interject from time to time. He's Russian. Oh, I don't like where this is going to go, my lovelies. Mm-hmm. Gotta look that way. Stay straight. Arched. Look that way. Don't let him push you around. Don't let him lose your face completely. He's a greedy bastard. It's a little bit, you need to help make her look good at the same time. You can, you can ask for combat duty, my dear, for this. Having to put up with him, it's a terrible nightmare. 
You can't tame me. You can't subdue me. I wanted intensity in this picture. And I nailed this big time by far. It's these damn Russians, man. I'm massive red flag. Massive red flag. I want to have photos of me strangling you with your own pearls. Massive biggest red flag. How that was allowed on set. Don't know. This man, red flag, red flag! You can't ignore, it's literally the flag factory. Flag factory. I'm telling you, put that to the side. That too. You both look good there. I no, I don't like this. No, no, we're gonna use it. To no, you're not. He knows. I'm a professional, I'm a great model. I, I, this is what I do, and I'm not something that you see every day. Everyone else is gonna I think that the bottom one money. has a bit more energy. More I think you should go with the bottom. Okay, bottom. Yeah. Thank you. It was a pleasure. The patience of a saint you have. <laughs> I'm a perfectionist, and it seemed that it was a bit annoying to Robert. What's up with that? Everyone's awful. Everyone's the asshole. Black. Right. Yeah, Come on, man. Minutes. Minutes. Let's go. Man, just lean your head on his crotch. Just on his, there. Stop. Don't do anything else. There you go. Nice. Nice. Is this it was tough because he Is spent so up? much time on Mandy Lynn that I felt I actually didn't get much direction. Oh no. You have, uh, you, the countdown is beginning. It's either that one or that one. I think that's kind of a nice picture. Oh, I like the mood of that more, better. Yeah. So that's done. We only had like 10 seconds to choose our photo. And I was just, you know, I was just praying we chose the right photo. Oh, oh I don't look think at me. You did. Your eyes were clear. Go on, pull it. Go, pull. <laughs> Grab him by the tie, girls. He asked me if I had done this before, and I didn't know if it was a situation that he was kind of patronizing me or if he could see that I had actually done this before. Don't look forward. There you go. Come and look at this. Which is that we have four minutes. Do you like it in color or black and white? I like the black and white. Yeah. Black and, and white like always conveys really? well. Yeah. Color this. In the end, we go with the color photo, and I really think that it's going to make a strong impact. I really think we're going to do well. I don't think well. you can see both of your faces. What's though? with that stuff? What we're going to do with this it? is the body paint. You're going to use we got it? Yeah, bed and body paint. Yeah, we're going to do some shots without it. But we don't know yet. And then we're going to. We'll see how that looks, and then we're yeah. gonna go ahead and incorporate the body paint. All right, so you guys, I want you to, I want to see less of the bed. Turn the bed the other way. Otherwise, I just want them in the middle of the bed. So Robert has me in a shot with my body exposed where I don't want it exposed, and I'm scared at first. I know my body. This is not gonna work. Oh, he's all sweating. I, I don't know. Must have sweat. Can I have the paper towels, please? Things are just going downhill, rocking really, really oh, fast. No. I'm sweating. My legs are hurting, and I don't feel like my face is gonna come across because I'm too stressed out. Long arch. Where's the arch? Where's the stomach in? Where's the long neck? Where's the chin down? Where's the head that way? That way. The other way. He needed a lot of direction. It got irritating oh, within no. the first, like, two minutes. Bend that knee. You talking to me? Yes, I am. Okay. Bring this foot up on this. Go up, up on the box. Hmm. OK, I have no time left. Just stay there. No, oh, the team car crash TV so If goes. he looks bad, of course, I'm going to look bad because I'm next to him. I had a CD DVD, car crash TV. I do, too. Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah. I have absolutely no idea how any of these photos are going to turn out. I have no idea how they're going to be judged. I have no idea what the criteria is. I don't even know what the theme is. There even a theme? We're not told like advertise the imaginary hair product, or put a bee up your hole. We're not told any of this because they're competing in couples. I wonder if they're going to do like a double eviction situation. Although in the first episode they got rid of like eight models, so. Oh, this show! Thank you very much, appreciate it. You're very welcome. It's very chaotic yeah, Cheers, and unlikable. You know, I'm rock that the only thing that bothered me, the only thing that bothered me is that he said that she's so patient. Yeah, he goes to me, he goes, wow, you are so, so patient. So patient. Oh, you're difficult? <laughs> yeah. Well, you are difficult. I'm not difficult. I'm a professional and I'm a perfectionist. Robert you're sensed difficult. that I might be a little aggressive and very adamant about my opinions. So I'm so worried that Robert's opinion will affect what Mary Alice thinks. That yes, is a, is a well-known photographer, and for him to say Although I'm difficult, it's like very nice. really, really bad for me. Coming up. I, it's almost like the consequences of your actions have come home to roost. I am shocked and disgusted that this is happening. America's most out of video. Hi, everybody. Hi, guys. Hi. Hello. All the teams have taken their photos and the judges deliberated. I'm feeling very nervous. Nervous? I photo, I no, really want to hear what they're going to say. So I've had a chance to so see I've had the it. photographs. Okay. And I was shocked at how good they were. Oh, good. There you go. Okay. Right. The winner of this right. callback challenge will get an automatic free pass to the next episode. So let's ah. see the first picture. I love this picture. 
This was oh, such a on strong the old picture. IMAC. If anyone that can make a nurse hat and a stethoscope look good, Rachel and Pickle, you killed it. Right out of the gate, Rachel and Pickle, you knocked this out of the park. You nailed it. I was okay. really, really taken by this picture. Congratulations. Thank you. OK, next photograph. VJ and Rachel. What I like the best about this picture is... Are they selling chemistry? You're going to kiss. I feel the energy between you two, the attraction. So was there any attraction? Yes. Absolutely. Serious. <laughs> Absolutely. Is it just on the for that moment, or...? There has been there this has whole time. Been. Yeah. Rachel's an absolutely beautiful girl. She's very vivacious. She's got. We're a, having a love a good story soul. from the she second really episode. Oh, she's vivacious. Okay. Mother has arrived. So I have a lot to say about this photograph. Lisa, love how you worked your body. Red flag. Love the look that you're giving. And you, you really have a photograph here. You tell a story in this photograph. We're complete opposites. And I think opposites attract, and we agree to disagree. She's like, yeah, we fought a lot last We night. fought a lot last night, but we came together. So you use that experience that you have. I don't think you fought a lot. I think, actually, Andre, you were a massive problem, and your partner was protecting herself. Last night in the picture. Definitely. Most definitely. I felt like a survivor. I had survived the night before. I worked with somebody that I had very little respect for, and it worked. It worked. That's, this you isn't a good thing. It's not heartwarming. <laughs> and you will annoy many people in your life. <laughs> Who? You. you. Me. Yeah. You will annoy many, many people. No. You have a very strong ego, and that will protect you in your life and take you places. But also could then damage. Not could, will. Yeah. Unless you shut up. I have to Dang. make sure that Shut people's up. opinions are not heard and their feelings and <laughs> you, dude. Now, Mandy You can't Lynn, change your someone hair. like that. Someone like that is so set in his ways. He's so insecure in his position in the world, in his masculinity, in his industry, that he will take it out on everyone around him under the guise of perfectionism because he couldn't bear the idea of him being seen in a very specific way that he hasn't exerted control over. And anyone who's that much of a control freak is going to be a problem. Insecurity. Red flags, writhing, can see it everywhere. I don't even think that that's production or an editing choice. I think that is just who he is. Now, Mandy Lynn, your hair looks incredible in this photograph. Yes, but, it does. Uh, in general, this picture is not that great. Oh. Daniel, I'm not feeling you here. Yeah. I don't even feel stiff. Somehow, you're not connecting with Mandy Lynn. It's just this halfway. Is not you're halfway there. The one. And Mandy Lynn, you look like you've fallen asleep on Daniel's crotch. Yeah, never take a photo with your eyes closed, unless it's for eyelashes. Like, ugh. And try to make it look comfortable and natural. It's tough. Both of you needed to give more in this photograph. Yeah. And it's I don't know giving. if it's that. You did, and you picked the wrong picture, which is what I think maybe happened. Okay. Possibly. There because was I have one. a feeling there's a lot of good pictures, but you picked the wrong picture, yeah. and that, that's part of this. I'm kind of disappointed with the one we chose as well, because just it just looked kind of awkward. OK, so let's take a look at the next one. I love it. I love you. You guys worked it, and it looks beautiful. The perfect choice was the pink rose. Looks it's wild. actually harder to get a great picture in color than it is black and white. Angela was completely right about the photo. Kudos for her. Uh, she made a great I'm decision. I just don't understand what the angle is. Okay, like, what's the theme? Last Why is it photograph work? of the day. Is it romance? It all went downhill here. I have to say, this is my least favorite photograph. Jesse. Um, you know. I know, the midsection is definitely, yeah. I, I, mean, I, I know sweating. I keep saying it, He'll but I am, you I, I am, I, you know. They've blurred his buttock. Bussy. Convinced yet how successful you'll be as a model. They focus so much on my weight. Well, hello, judges, that's not gonna go away in one day. Yes, Erica, that's very exactly I'm really worried about you as a model with the one note. When we're interacting, there's this, um, kind of lack of energy that I feel from you. A character is yet to, you know, come out. I don't know who you are. Great. Erica is boring, and I'm fat. Not good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna call How up the two that, the 2000s? that I really have narrowed it down to: Pickle and Rachel, Andre and Lisa. I think both of these photographs are very very strong photographs. Pickle. Unfortunately, I can only pick one. Pickle and and and. And I'm Rachel. going to go with Rachel and Pickle. Yes. Yes, you should, because we should not reward I unhinged, egotistical, egomaniac we behavior. And we pulled off a prize-winning shot. Lisa and Andre. These, these confessionals are really strange because it's like the camera is vaguely motion-tracking them. 
Okay. We had worked Can you see well what together. I mean? We'd pulled off a prize. Yeah, meeting. like Shut. vaguely Lisa tracking and Andre, them. I absolutely Hold. adore the photograph. One thing I'm going to say right now is that I would never pick a photograph that promotes violence or violence against women. T. So although that was a very strong. Why is he like what? What do you mean violence? And ultimately, that is not a picture that I would want. An image that I would want to promote. Take. This is the same woman that a few minutes ago was complimenting the picture. Mary Alice, you're contradicting yourself, my love. So, Rachel and Pickle, you just you want an automatic callback to the next episode. Congratulations. Okay, so they're immune. But the rest of you are in danger of being purged. Danger I'll see girl. you all back at the mansion. You you look at that one. Do you see the stiffness we're talking about or no? No, I definitely see the stiffness, but the thing is when we, Manny, when like we, we were done. It definitely was a better picture than the one that I we chose. I feel betrayed by her, man. And for her to say that was violent towards <laughs> women, what violence? What is she talking about? It was it's a great clear, picture, sir. and she ended up going safe. I, I would expect far more from Mary Alice. Why choose okay when you could have great? Coming. Because you were incorrect. Because you were incorrect. All right, here we go. Oh, here she is. Work that runway, girls. Work the world. Work that person. Going into the elimination, I do not feel confident about Mary Alice's opinion of me. As no, a I think you might be going. Daniel. Going into oh, wait, elimination to tonight, I'm feeling very nervous. Going into elimination? Oh, yeah, no. I yeah, feel yeah, like yeah. my number's coming up. Yeah, stop. Yeah, no, I forgot. I forgot. No, stop. I'm overweight, which has been established already from the beginning. I'm working out. Goodness. I'm trying to follow the directions of Mary Alice, it's and I'm doing the best day. I can. I'm just keep working and try to improve myself. Ooh, let's go back for a second. Doesn't this look like he's outside wearing his, like, going home clothes? I think Jesse might be voted out, even though I think he actually makes great TV. I think this is a bit, like, of a prophecy shot here of, like, the tale of what's to come, because I don't think he makes it through. But... I'll hold my tongue. And try to improve myself. Right, let's see. What's the challenge this week? Is it Girl another miles. spelling bee? We've been playing in teams of a two. A spelling what? But tonight, one of you goes home. Elimination is tonight, and I'm still feeling in danger of going home. It's just so nerve-wracking. Rachel and Pickle, you won the callback challenge, so you get an automatic call back to the next episode. So yeah, congratulations. Yeah. I saw the pictures from today's photo shoot, and I have to admit, Mary Alice, since I stopped my son from looking at those uh, S&M and Bondage magazines, I've really never seen anything quite like them. Most of you did an incredible job, but there are two teams that needed work. So when I call your names, please step to the end of the runway. Erica and Jesse. They knew it. They already knew it. We knew it. They knew it. Everyone saw. Mandy Lynn and Daniel. Mandy Lynn is yes. called down. And I'm thinking, oh, hell yes. There is no way I'm going home. If I go home, it's not fair. Um. Daniel, you are clearly one of the smartest here. And you're gorgeous. But today, you you're one so of the worst smart. models. It's not what I expected from you. OK. So you need to use those brains you have to become a better model. To become but a Daniel. woman. OK. You're safe. Please Thank go you. back to the end of the world. I'll prove to you I can do a good job. <laughs> I'm still here, and now Mandy I got Lynn a chance to better? show Mary Alice than him in that the I can be the best. Though? I'll be the best. Oh, they're going to humiliate Mandy her. Lynn. Yesterday's quiz show was it's not pathetic. so good. It's pathetic. But you are smart enough to take direction. You have been working so hard, and I am very, very impressed. To take direction from someone as smart as my partner in crime here on a subject as important as this is pretty smart. Yeah, it's that's, damn that's smart. why I'm listening. Well, you're finally going to get a chance to dye your hair. Because Mandy Lynn, you are safe. Wow. Please join the other models. Thank you Oh my so god, much. OK. I look forward to seeing it all one color. Mandy Lynn. What a weird concept that was. So straight. Well, you're going to get a chance to dye your hair because you're going to the fair. Like, what was that about? It's like the show didn't have a blueprint or anything about like how they were going to announce things and how they were going to do things. It has a lot of heart. She's proving to me she wants to be in this I'm competition. I'm glad that she's so staying in, though. Stay. But it feels like she's here. 
appeared to be like the token giggle. Like, what the ah hell? Why isn't she going home? This is really bad. I was freaking out. Because you did this? <sighs> Jesse and Erica. God, they're going to release the owls. Jesse. Je suis. You are so smart. He's you... so smart. I mean, he's so smart. And you've got a great look going on. But I'm not so sure you're a model. Jesse is you know, chubby. And um, I think in the end will be the demise of him. But you're an ego-side of I'm seeing you in high heels now tonight for the first time. I wanted to see you in them today. You have so much going for you. She you got such a tiny it up. forehead. You got to show people who you are. Smallest you have to bring more I've emotion into your Look, modeling. Tiny. It just seems like you really don't care that much. This has been very difficult, but like the conventional paradigm in the pre-Copernican era of geocentric cosmology. Erica, you have been invalidated. <gasps> so where was the smart? I think where my was the smart the challenge? That I have a lot what? Of heart because I know that's something that I have. That's something that brings me up. I'm just going to keep on pushing and show everybody that the short Latinas can be sexy models too. Watch my ADHD kick in as I immediately forget we've actually already watched the smart challenge, which was in fact for the models to win items for their photo shoots. So. Vamos a salir adelante. Jesse, whatever type of modeling you end up doing, you have got to be in shape for it, honey. So, you're safe, but baby, you are on that treadmill tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. I'm there. Good. Every time I come out, it's never, it's a bad picture. It's always, you're a little overweight. So to have my body rejected on a daily basis, it really is beginning to take a toll on me. Absolutely. So congratulations. As you saw by today's pictures, the competition is quite tough in this house. And it's going to get harder. I'm so ready, though, for whatever I'm so it is I'm so confused. Is there not, like, Bring it on. two challenges in All each All of you are still in the running for the episode. Extreme Style by VO5 grand prize of $100,000. And we'll see you tomorrow. Next week on... No! I'm so confused. All right, my loves, I've got some thoughts. Just so you know, my lovelies, this is what Mr Biscuit is doing currently right next to me on his pillow. Fast asleep, so he will not be the star of the show today. But he's always the star of my show. So, my lovelies, I've got some thoughts about this episode. First of all, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Andre is a complete egocidal maniac. I am so glad that it was actually picked up and pointed at during judging and also during like the photo review section because it makes no sense as to why you are this insecure that you take it out on everyone around you when you have to work together in part of a team. Like nobody wants to work with that energy. Like could you imagine ever, 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 ever being in a situation where you have to try and make that person look good? They will take everything away from you to make them look good and make you look terrible, whilst also then blaming the reason why they won't win because they can't have any communication or cooperation in a team environment, will also be your fault, according to them. I hope that it is a case of production plant, and I can take all these words back and be like, oh my god, it was just for TV! It was just a weird prank gone wrong, girls. Fortunately, or perhaps even unfortunately, I don't know yet, because I haven't watched the rest of the season, because you're going to be watching it here with me. I've just actually sat down and thought that, of course, the game show section earlier was actually the smarts challenge like the, the intelligence challenge, even though it came across as utterly ludicrous and I sort of didn't realise what was happening because of course that was that. Even though the photo shoot challenge seemed to take up much more of this episode, which is what I feel like it mostly is about. I don't understand why a company like VO5 would want someone who's purely winning from being smart and not actually looking great at selling a photo, I don't know, or selling a product within a photo. Very confused. I'm also not so sure about why Manzi Lim was in the bottom. From a pair point of view, I kind of get it, but also, they re I really feel like they're pointing at Manzi Lim and being like, Oh, uh, the Playboy lady, she hasn't got a brain up, but she does look nice now, but she ain't got a brain up. Poor Mandylin, girls. I think she's really sweet and lovely, and I would take someone like Mandylin over an egocidal maniac any day of the week. Well, my lovelies, let me know what you think about what we've seen in today's episode, because it's been so confusing the whole way through. I'm so confused. This episode is filled with drama, filled with egos, filled with knowledge, filled with production nonsense. I just don't know what we're going to see in the next episode, my lovelies. But 
With that being said, it's time for the Patreons, and you can see yourself scrolling past on the screen right here. Yes, you can. If you'd like to become a member of the Patreon and give this Chanel a little bit of extra support, click the link in the description box below to find out a little bit more about the tiers and the rewards and the such like. Yes, please. And as always, my lovelies, I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons. Orcos Samoji, Beebles32, Shell Herman, Christy Crownover, Christina Kyle, ContraPoints, Danielle, Elizabeth Stone, Emily Worsham, Eric Castillo, Finn Dunn, Jen Martin, Caitlin Wright, Larry Lane, Laura Jane, Les Banana, Lizette Cares, Min Min Tier, Mariah Sherman, Ms. Kiss, Novembrix, Paolo Rivera, Rubik's Co, Ryan Vita, Slampire Queen, Steffi Tech, The Chaos Collective, Vicky Walsh, Victoria Carella, and Zoe Sevier. And you know what, my loves? I think I'm going to leave it on the notes of don't ever let someone be like, oh my God, great idea for a photo shoot. Why don't I strangle you with pearls while screaming my head off and call it fashion? Don't, just don't let anyone do all that. And don't let them speak down to you whilst doing it. No, not interested. And with that, my loves, I shall see you in the next one. <gasps> yes.